friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an impromptu haul video just because I haven't done a video. My hair is literally scary. Let's not talk about it. And hopefully I've cut the messy parts of my bedroom out. This is one of my Busy Bee, um, Busy Bee Crafts, I think it is. Headbands, I love them so much. This is the wide headband. I can't take it off and show you because my hair is seriously a mess. I will try to remember to link her website down below. I have a bunch of polishes I need to get caught up swatching on, but I figured let's do a quick haul video and look at them before I do. Some of these you've heard me talk about, but you haven't seen them in a review video or a haul video yet. So the first one is one of those. This is the Hello Kitty Christmas collection. Does it have another name? Okay, all I'm seeing is OPI Hello Kitty 2019 holiday collection. We have this kind of a navy blue. This is my favorite gal pal. We have this gorgeous lavender glitter. This is pile on the sprinkles. This is more of a chunky glitter, kind of a rose goldy, maybe copper. This is born to sparkle. Next we have this white and silver glitter. This is glitter to my heart. This one looks like a barely blush pink. It's let's be friends. This one is like a periwinkle blue with a bunch of glitter in there. This is let love sparkle. This is kind of a blush pink that's a hush of blush. It's a little shimmery. I have a yellow gold glitter. This is glitter all the way. This deep Red is a kiss on the cheek. It's not what I have on, but in this um, screen it looks like it could be. This one's kind of a platinum type of color. Or a bit more of a like very light white goldish type of a shimmery polish. This is Many Celebrations to Go. This red glitter is Dream in Glitter. This shimmery gray metallic-y looking one is Isn't She Iconic. Next we have, it looked red in this light, but it looks super pink on the screen, and it's definitely more pink than um, A Kiss on the Chic. This is All About the Bows. Then we have a pink and multi-chrome glitter, which is Let's Celebrate, and this deep purple that is Hello Pretty. And I didn't separate those out. There were three exclusive glitters and 12 of the original and I have all 15. I just showed you all of them. I didn't separate them. Sorry. Next I have the China Glaze Halloween Collection. It is Catch a Color. Um, I really like these. I haven't swatched these ones yet, but I did. I went and got a pedicure last night, and I did take these with me to in case I wanted one of them. And one of these didn't win, but to be fair, I take like a whole giant bag of polish with me when I get a pedicure, um, especially if I go with a friend, which I did. So first we have this kind of a graphite gray. This is You've Got Black Mail. That's so cute. I think this one's a black. It is Private Side Eye. We have a great kind of shimmery orange here. This is Pathological Liar Liar. This green one is Green with Jealousy. I can't really tell without having swatched this one if the base is a purple or a black, but it looks like it has um, purple glitter in this one. This is a Rest in Peace. And this is kind of a fiery orange red glitter looking one. This is Get Off My Cold Case. I did get the Zoya Holiday Collection. This is the Twinkling Collection. It did come with a big flipper, which is why I ordered the deal, even though it wasn't as good as it sometimes is. But I thought it came with wide brushes, and this one did not. This pink shimmery one is Rosa. We have kind of a brownish orange shimmer in there. This is Sedona. This deep purple is Gabby. This silver looks like it might be a little bit chunky. This is Jet. Then there's this great blue. This is Alicia. This shimmery deep navy blue is Jen. This mauvey purple is, I'm not sure if it's May or Mai. It's M-A-I. We have a gray that's Tyrin. This red is Tanya. 
This golden holographic one is Katie, and it's spelt K-A-E-D-E. -E. Then we have two neutral colors. The bit pinkish nude is Steph, S-T-E-P-H. And the one that's a little more brownie neutral is Enza. So that's the Twinkling Collection. If you've watched my videos before, then you probably know that I do get PR from Moonshine Manny and I have a bunch of stuff that you will be seeing or have recently seen. This is Garden of Shadows. This is her current Facebook exclusive polish. Honor's Ocean Wave is one that her daughter Honor made. This is also a limited edition polish. Never Fading Sparkle is a limited edition Alzheimer's Awareness Polish. Scintillating is the next installment in her project Dupe It, which um, also contained a dupe for Zombie Zest and a dupe for Pacific Blue. This one is duping China Glaze's Cinderella. This is Scintillating. Next we have Moonshine Manny's Thanksgiving Friends Collection. Um, I love the stories behind these. This is The King of Bad Thanksgivings, Bring on the Yams, The Geller Cup, and I Wasn't Supposed to Put Beef in the Trifle. We also have Moonshine Manny's November Polish Pickup Shade. This is Pixie Dust. This is the Sesame Street 50th Anniversary Holiday Collection. These I haven't swatched at all yet either. This is a kind of a chunky green and holographic. This is a grouchy new year. Here's a red glitter that's on the nice list. This one's kind of a graphite silver gray. It is since 1969. Okay, I'm just noticing the difference, so I will tell you now. The OPI does look like it's a plastic overlay on the cap. The China Glaze one is not. It looks like it's printed right on the cap. Here's a coppery pink that's giggling all the way. Ah, oh, this is a silver holographic. I love the name of this one. It's hashtag this is my street. Here's kind of a chartreuse green. This is Celebert. Here's a shiny silver, T is for tinsel. Sorry if the background changed, I wasn't quick enough, I got interrupted with the phone call. This blue I think might end up being metallic. This is Me Ate Santa's Cookies. This is Me Ate Santa's Cookies. This one is very similar but a little more green. This is brought to you by this pink one is Gift Fur, fur F-U-R-U, -U. and here's a golden and holographic one. This is 50 Shimmering Years, and this one looks like it's going to be kind of a pinky metallic. This is Fa-la-la-la-la, fa fa la ah 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 that's what it is. <laughs> sorry, it took me a minute to figure it out. Oh, sorry guys. Obviously these aren't haul because these are my brand painted flanges, but I figured why not look at what's coming up for painted flanges too. These are the uglies. I know that all ugly pretty polishes are still pretty, but I've been calling these the uglies in my head for like six or seven months because the prototypes have been done for that long. So that's what that's what it is it's the uglies with a question mark is the name of the collection but I also named these after things from the first Maleficent movie because I love that movie and I feel like the whole movie could be an ugly pretty polish so this first one is the Moors it's kind of a taupey gray background with a bunch of metallic um, multi-chrome flakies in there Next we have Oh Come On That's Funny. It's kind of a yellowy chartreuse with a bunch of blue and green shimmer and some holographic in there. This one is a navy blue base with a bunch of different shifty, shimmery, colory goodness in there. This is Beastie. And this green is darker than the chartreuse one. This is Winged Elf and it's kind of a... Uh, mossy, maybe muted olive, and it has 
some green micro flakies and some coppery, I think it was multi-chrome shimmer in this one. Of course, I can't remember off the top of my head right now because I'm trying to tell you about it. And this last one is Hero and Villain. This one was based off of the Maleficent character. I thought it got a good shot somewhere in the light. This is horrible lighting, by the way. This is a like medium to dark gray base with a good amount of multi-chrome colorant in there. So it does have the multi-chrome shimmer and some black holographic, but not enough that I would call it just specifically a multi-chrome polish. So this one we're just calling a creamy multi-chrome, and I can't remember if I told you this is hero and villain. Um, London Town reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try some of their polishes. So of course I told them yes. They sent me three colors that I picked and also a top and a base coat that I didn't know I was getting. The top and the base coat are both called Kur, K-U-R, sorry lighting is horrible. They are both clear and the polishes, not in that hand, can't turn that way, are all called lacquer. Um, I will tell you the names. This is kind of a purpley neutral color. This is Bellflower. This red one is, you guys know I always love a red, this is Vendetta. And this last one is a very dark, like, black base, probably. I would call it with a bunch of purpley shimmer. It might be a very, very dark purple. It's so, so pretty. These were sent to me. I will have a review coming up. But I was excited to try these and share these with you. And last but not least, I have my latest polish pickup. I have these earrings that I ordered. I still am not sure if you say that company name Zra or Zra or ZRA. No idea. But these are gorgeous. I got Painted Polish Mr. Burgundy and my friend that I went to get a pedicure with has this on her toes. This one is gorgeous. Scofflaw Greetings from the Bermuda Triangle has all that different colors in there. It's so gorgeous. It kind of reminds me a little bit of turquoise jewelry, which sounds strange but just because of the base and then there's so much turquoise glitter in there and it's got white and a bunch of copper so it kind of re reminds me of that southwestern type jewelry very pretty and zombie claw polish haunting the black forest this is the one that's on my toes um i'm not going to show you though because i think feed pictures are yucky okay now i'm looking around trying to see if i forgot anything i don't think i did I do have a bunch of swatching coming up. It's also my birthday, so we'll be, not today, my birthday is coming up. So I will be having some family come up, which always makes things a little bit harder to get done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Tell me what you've been hauling down below. You know I'm always excited to see what you've been buying, too. Thanks again for watching. Bye, guys!